Oh, Dr. John Brinkley. I referenced him today. Uh, Dr. John Brinkley is a fascinating American huckster. Uh, he was a guy who... <laughs> he really was like the Nick Riviera of the American West. He was a fraudulent doctor because back then it was uh, uh, accreditation for medical uh, uh, professional was so thin that you could basically write into a Cracker Jack box to get a thing that could get you paid to be a doctor somewhere, uh, which is pretty amazing when you think about it, considering how tightly round in everything is now. Uh, but so this guy Brinkley with his Cracker Jack uh, diploma uh, creates a miracle cure for impotence, which involves the translation, the surgical implantation of goat testes into the male human gonadal sac. That's right. The gonadal sac. And that presumably, this is what he would tell the hillbillies and plain folk who came to him, yeah, you're going to get the inf you're going to get the animal power of that goat and it's going to get you up. Now, this probably had some sort of effect because obviously a lot of uh, erectile dysfunction is is psychosomatic, so I'm sure a number of people, even after after that healed up, they got hard and they were like, "Damn, thank you, Doctor Brinkley." But for the most part, they would just get you know swollen balls. Uh, <laughs> a lot of them died. But anyway, he became incredibly popular for this. People came all over the world. He had a he had a he had a place in he had a place in Kansas. Hey, wait. I'm sorry, sorry. He had a place in Kansas, and he. Uh, and he, where he was, he would, what do you call it, uh, put the balls on, out of the people in Kansas. I got owned. I got owned. Uh, he would take the balls and he would put them in the sacks of the people. And he became incredibly popular. Uh, and then, eventually, he got... Uh, stripped of his ability to do it because people kept dying and it was a wildly, you know, dangerous thing. And then he ran for governor of Kansas and came pretty close. He almost won. It was really like Mr. when Mr. Burns ran for governor, you know, because he wanted to stop having to pay taxes. Uh, it was sort of the same thing. He was going to become governor and then change the rules so that he could practice medicine in Kansas again. Uh, and he came pretty close, but he didn't win. And he ended up at a... Uh, he ended up having to go to... Ta uh, to um, northern Mexico because they wouldn't uh, allow him to operate in the United States and he built a giant uh, array a giant radio array that was so powerful uh, that it reached all the way across the continental United States and people as far away as like Oklahoma from the border could hear it in barbed wire and bed springs and shit like that's how powerful it was and it, funnily enough that radio station became the place where the vast, where most people in the country first heard country western music, which was like a regional phenomenon that uh, got national exposure for the first time through his radio station. Uh, yeah, so there you go, Dr. John Brinkley. He spread culture uh, and also horrible, horrible gonadal infections uh, by sewing goat testicles into human scrotums. I haven't had that many drinks, thank you. Sometimes you get too excited with the goat balls. I don't want to fight my neighbor. Come on, guys. Settle down. <laughs>